Hi, I'm Pessia Feigenson with DP News. We interviewed Deborah Feigenson and Zach Espley of the UCSB Physics Department about the struggles COVID caused for teaching and how they overcame them. We quickly, luckily quickly, landed on this idea of kind of this remote control lab sort of situation. The question was, can we do it in four weeks for the next quarter? So then we decided, okay, we have to cancel next quarter's classes, and then can we do the rest of it in 10 weeks? So we all had new, new technology to learn. We had to learn a little bit about mechanical engineering and how networking works and some computer science. The main point is we didn't know if we could do it in 10 weeks. And we did it, but it was kind of pure panic through all of it. We got the funding from just the department, pretty much. We kept it fairly cheap because we used a lot of equipment that we already had. They realized a pandemic is a particularly a uh, novel situation and that they needed to be able to support it. So there's a particular pandemic fund that was created. That and I'd say uh, Professor Feikinson's credit card, her own, her own funds. We weren't able to make the lab explicitly hands-on for the students. That was kind of the whole idea behind this project. To imagine it as though there was basically a window between the student and the equipment, that window being your computer screen. You could kind of just shout commands through the window and you'd watch the machinery do the thing that you said. It's, I think, as good as you could get during a pandemic. We had to adapt to teaching remotely in a couple of ways. We had to serve fewer students at a time. It's hard in a Zoom room with more than a dozen students to really have interactions. Instead of having just a few sections with like 24 students in a section, we went down to nine sections of 10 students each. My biggest struggle teaching during COVID was getting everything to work in time for the students to be able to use it. I found that in the beginning the students really didn't believe we had real equipment. They were ready for like a simulation or a video. What I liked best about the remote labs was that it managed to preserve student-centered operation. I think it is uh, tremendous that people can from far away and on their own schedule uh, still have this learning experience. Now, if a student is sick, we have remote labs that can make it up. It's not a huge stress. We're trying to even make them available to uh, community colleges and high schools, and that makes everybody more accommodating. Going back to school after COVID, I was so appreciative, and the students were so appreciative. It was like a lot had changed about our thinking of what was possible and what was reasonable. This has been Pessia Feigenson with DP News. Be sure to check out the remote labs.